So once you're at your project page, you can see all of your previous projects. If you have created a new account, you're going to, yours is going to be empty. Um, and from here, there's a number of different things you can do, but for the most part, we're going to be creating new projects. Um, you would give the project a title. You should probably think about making it something descriptive to the class it's going with. Um, it defaults to MLA citation style at a junior level. This is what we recommend for middle school. And then you have your new project. You'll see here that it asks you about research questions, thesis. Um, it gives you a little bit of history about it, when this project was created. You can use Google Talks with that, and I will talk more about that in another video. And then you have information about sharing and collaborating. With this, you can share with another student. Um, adding a student would make them either a full collaborator if it's partner work, or if you just want another student to be able to see your work uh, to give you some feedback, they'd mark it as a peer reviewer. You would then need to enter the student's ID number, and so you need to know that. Some teachers might be using a project box, which you would be finding it in here. They would give you the name of it, and then that way your teacher can see all of your work as well. Um, turning on public access, um, this is something we're not recommending for students, but teachers may give you public access to a list they've created in order to get you started on things. Other things you will see here are your to-do list. Um, you can create kind of a timeline of due dates for yourself right here in Noodle Tools. Um, you don't have to do that, but these are all options and different things you can do right here from your front page.